Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. And today we have an hour together for yoga. We're going to be focusing on finding support underneath us to support our balance. So come to a comfortable place, whatever that means for you. You're always welcome to start not on the floor in a chair if that's more comfortable for you. This is your practice to adapt and adjust to how you're feeling. So you don't ever, it doesn't ever have to look like it does in my body. You get to change it up for you. So settling into a comfortable place, always knowing that as we go along, you can adjust at any time. It's not as if when you get to a place, you have to stay there. Rooting down into the support underneath you. Maybe taking your fingers to the earth or support like a chair underneath you. Take a breath in. On an exhale, soften the gaze, lower the gaze, or even if you're comfortable, close your eyes. Notice the different supports underneath your body. And notice if you're sitting more to one side or the other, more forward or more back. And see if you can adjust that to feel as even as possible. Root down into that support. And from there, we lift through the spine, up through the crown of the head. Shoulders soft, collarbones wide. Hands come back to a comfortable place. You're welcome to stay with your eyes closed. Take a breath in. Exhale, soften any tension in your body and simply notice how you feel today. Notice if there's a lot on your mind or in your heart. Notice how your physical body feels by tuning in to sensations rather than the stories we tell ourselves. Notice if your awareness is, is in more in one particular place in your body and see if you can even that out, even when we're faced with places in our body that are very loud and we have discomfort. Try your best to spread your awareness evenly through your body. And then when you're already starting to notice your breath as it is. Maybe breathing in and out through your nose if that's comfortable for you. And starting to deepen and lengthen the inhale and exhale. And as you notice that, see if those breaths can go equally into both sides of your body, as if you could literally breathe into your body. Meaning not just your lungs, but your body as a container. Allow the breath to fill up not only the front body, but the back body too. With those longer breaths, steady those breaths out as best as you can. So we smooth the inhale and steady the exhale so the breath becomes a little more balanced. And that doesn't mean the inhale is the same count as the exhale. We're just controlling the steadiness of the breath. So it becomes mindful and conscious. If there are some places in your body that you notice your breath doesn't reach, see if you can focus on that area and imagine as if you could literally send the breath there on the inhale, filling it up, and on the exhale, there's a soft relaxing and letting go of the breath. That way we can literally breathe into any part of our body 
and see if you can balance that breath through your whole self. With those longer, smoother breaths in and out, let go of any um, immediate efforting here so the breath becomes a little softer. Root down into that support underneath you and lift from there. Once again, noticing if you're leaning more forward or back, more into one side than the other side of your body, and seeing if you can do anything to even that out and send the breath to everywhere equally. However you're sitting, taking your arms out at the side of you, bending from the elbows, palms up, on the inhale, we take those fingers towards the shoulders, exhales, palms come down towards the earth. As if you're pushing through water, so as if there's resistance there. Excellent place to stay right here. If you want to add on, starting to move from the shoulders. As you move your arms, notice the support underneath you and if it changes, if you lean more to one side than the other, forward or back, and see if you can keep that as easy as possible, as balanced as you can. Maybe those fingers reach all the way up, maybe they don't. No right and wrong here, working with your body. Last one, wherever we are, we'll take those fingers down onto your knees. If you've got cross-legged, um, cross legs, you might wanna cross the opposite knee over in front. Hands to your knees, whether you're seated in a chair or on the floor, and it doesn't matter how you're sitting, your legs can be out, crossed underneath you, or kneeling sitting up on a meditation cushion, anything that feels right. There's no particular place you need to be. From here, once again, rooting to rise. Longer, smoother, softer breaths. With the hands supporting you, we're gonna start to circle through the ribs. Notice your weight shifting from one side to the other, forward and back as you go around in circles. And there's no right or wrong way to do this, so you can feel free to make it your own. Use the hands on your knees as support to bring you more forward and hold you as the ribs come back. If you wanna change up how you're seat and sitting to do this, then please go ahead. Allow these movements to be as fluid as possible if you want to challenge yourself, then hover your hands and see if you can keep this movement while balancing, inhaling and exhaling. Mm -hmm. A controlled movement. And then we'll go around in the opposite direction. Hands down for support to start with. And then your option to add on is to hover those hands or lift them entirely. And try and keep the movement as balanced as possible, noticing if you're missing out any particular areas. Mm -hmm. Another three in your own time. And at the end of your next exhale, we'll come back to center, reestablish that equal balance in our foundation, lift from there, and steady the breath. You're welcome to stay seated in cat and cow, or you can always bring your feet out in front of you in cat and cow from here. Otherwise, we're coming over onto hands and knees, Take any extra softness or cushioning 
underneath your knees if you want to, if that's more comfortable for you, or you can double or triple over your mat for that support. Hands are a comfortable distance, at least shoulder distance, if not wider. Knees the same, toes tucked or untucked, your choice. Push into your foundation, lift through the belly, back of the heart lifts and the gaze is forward. Now, push into your fingertips, all the way to the tips of your thin fingers and thumbs. And notice if you're leaning more to one side than the other. And of course, if this is challenging on the wrist, you're always welcome to come down to the forearms. Take your awareness into your knees and feet. And notice again, if you shifted more to one side than the other, come back to as neutral a place as possible. On the exhale, push into your foundation, lift the back of the ribs towards the sky, any amount, tuck the tail, maybe draw the chin down towards the chest, that's the exhale. Inhaling, belly, Drop, sit bones, lift, collarbones widen, and the shoulder blades come back and down towards the seat. Inhaling and exhaling. Longer, smoother, softer breaths. No right and wrong here, just figuring out a way to move in your body, always adjusting, always allowing yourself permission to change things up. Noticing that connection down underneath you to the foundation of support. Next time we come after the exhale, we'll come back to a neutral spine. From here, we're going to send that right hip out to the side. Right shoulder comes back, glance to the right. So we've got a contraction on the right side, lengthening on the left side. And then we'll go from side to side, drawing one hip out to the side, drawing that shoulder back, glancing from side to side, noticing how that feels in your spine. Mm -hmm. Coming back to neutral, untucking the toes, taking the big toes towards each other, and the hips are gonna come back towards the heels. And if you need support underneath you by a cushion or a bolster, please do. This is child's pose, supported underneath your head, if that feels comfortable. Rocking and rolling from side to side, noticing how that feels in your joints. Always a place to come back to rest. Next time on an inhale, I'm gonna draw the hands back towards you and we're coming up. Exhaling back down, inhaling up, exhaling down and you're as much or as little supported with your hands as you want if you want to add on those hands are coming back towards the hips as we come up exhaling down excellent place to stay right here we're getting into the cat and cow spine as on that inhale, we're drawing the shoulders towards each other, doing that open heart as we bring the fingers back, exhaling, rounding. If you want to add on, next inhale, we're lifting the arms up, exhaling, coming back, hands supporting you underneath the shoulders or hands can even be back by the ankles. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Starting to warm up through the core of the body. And notice as you come up or down, if you're leaning more into one side of your body or the other, adding on. Inhaling, we're coming up to the knees. Exhaling down. And again, just notice the little shifts in the body. Longer, smoother, softer breaths. 
You can do every other one. You can rest in child's pose whenever you need to. Two more, slow and steady. Last one here. Coming back to child's pose and resting. In stillness, in movement, anything that feels comfortable here. When you're ready, back we come, up to hands and knees. And we're sending that right leg out towards the front and coming forward, leaving you to adjust that right foot out towards the side so you feel comfortable. Left hand is underneath the shoulder. Spinning the left thumb forward, patting the left knee if you need to. On an inhale, drawing the elbow up, twisting towards the right, exhaling down. Open collarbones and the right elbow drawing up towards the sky. Adding on, the arm extends. Inhaling and exhaling. That arm can come back any amount. You have another three breaths. Last one here. Exhaling down. Hands to the inside of the right leg. We come up onto the thigh and up we come again. Any padding you need under the left knee, please go ahead and take that. Hips coming forward and back. Neutralize the pelvis so it's neither anterior nor posterior tilted. So you're somewhere in the middle that feels comfortable for you. Always adjusting your foundation. From here, I'm going to come forward so you can see where we're going. From here, the left foot lifts and comes over towards the right. Again, any padding you need under that left leg, that left knee, please take it. Right hand on the right thigh or forearm comes down. Open up the heart towards the left and here we are. Inhaling the left arm up and over, exhaling down. So we're getting the length through the left knee all the way through the left side of the body. Modified side angle here. Mm -hmm. Next time that hand comes overhead, we're staying. Option always to pulse or we stay opening up the collarbones. Root through your foundation, lift from there, steady breath. Next exhale, the left hand comes down all the way to the floor, left knee comes back, and then we're drawing the right leg round and back, cat and cow. From here, left foot comes round and forward, patting the right knee. From here, left foot comes round and forward, hands to the inside of that left foot, 
right thumb spins forward. This is the exhale. Inhale, left elbow comes up, exhaling down. Option to stay here. Option to extend that left arm up, maybe even back behind you. Pulsing in and out. Option to pulse, option for the last three to stay. Breathing. Last breath, and the hands come down to the inside of that left leg. Hands come up onto the thigh, and up we come, adjusting that front leg and the back foot to be comfortable for you. Sending the hips forward and back, playing with the pelvic tilt to get to a neutral place. From here, sending the right toes towards the right. Left hand on the left thigh or coming down to forearm. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see me. From here, right arm comes up, maybe over, exhaling down. Getting ready for our body to be familiar with side angle. Collarbones are wide. Option to stay pulsing. Option to lift the right arm up and over, staying for three breaths. Reaching down from the right knee all the way through the crown of the head and fingertips. Steady breath. Using the left forearm to shift the ribs towards the right so we get the length. Staying for one last breath here. Inhaling all the way up, round, and back. Back to cat and cow. And from there, big toes come towards each other. Hips come back, child's pose. Steady breath, longer, smoother, and softer breaths. Another three breaths here, or take as long as you like. And when we're ready, coming up, tucking the toes, and making our way up to standing in your own way. And I'll meet you up there. Coming into mountain pose, digging down th through your feet, lifting through the crown of your head. Shoulders soft, collarbones wide, and from here, really noticing your feet. Noticing if your weight is more in the balls or the toes of your feet with a little gripping. If your weight is in the back of your heels, towards the outside edge of your feet or towards the inside. And seeing if you can even that up and notice how that feels. Longer, smoother, softer breaths. On the inhale, from the elbows, lifting up through the palms, exhaling down, or starting to move from the shoulders. Joints nice and easy. Push down through your feet evenly, and notice the muscles in your legs waking up. 
Option to stay here, option to bring in a twist. On the inhale, taking the arms up. On the exhale, twisting towards the right. Inhaling up, exhaling, twisting towards the left. Taking your hips with you, but making sure that the evenness of the feet stays as it is. So you're neither pushing into the left or the right foot more, to the outside or inner edge of the feet, or to the front and back, through the toes or the heels, keeping that as even as possible. You can glance over that back shoulder if that feels comfortable for you. Keep the movement, but now allow the hips only to face forward, so the movement will be less, but you're coming from the spine, rather than bringing the hips and the pelvis involved. And you might notice that that really shortens your range of motion. And that's because you're really isolating through the spine. So everything from the pelvis down is rooted evenly. One more either side, or resting, your choice. And coming back to center when you're ready. Roll through the shoulders in one direction, and then roll through the shoulders in the other direction. From here, we're going to be walking towards the front of our mat. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see. Mountain pose, digging down, hands to the hips. Fixing your gaze will help with balance and steadying the breath. When you're ready, lifting the right heel up. Exhale, taking that right leg all the way back. Warrior one. So the longer and wider your stance, or the shorter and narrower your stance, that's gonna change up how it feels. So you get to adjust. I like the right foot way over towards the right, gives the hips a little bit of ease. That right foot is at a 45 degree angle-ish. Straightening and bending into the front leg, and that will help you decide what feels best in your body. Next time we come down with that left knee, we'll stay. Now even out the weight distribution in your feet. So you're pushing down just as much into the left heel as the right heel. Staying here, bringing the right shoulder forward, left shoulder back, so we square things up. And you may immediately need to adjust that back leg to accommodate your hip, knee, or ankle. Play with the pelvis, just like we did earlier, noticing if you can take it to a more neutral place. Longer, smoother, softer breath. On the inhale, push into the left foot and lift, straightening through the knee, but the weight is still distributed in both feet. Exhaling down, pushing deeply into the back knee to even out that distribution. Inhaling and exhaling. Opening up through the right hip here. If you want to add on with the arms, the inhale, we take the arms up. Exhale, thumb shoulder height as if you're holding a beach ball in front of you. As big or as small as feel comfortable in your shoulders. Inhaling. Exhaling. Longer, smoother, steadier breaths. Option to flow with the movement. Option next time you come down to stay. Re-establish the evenness between the feet. Arms go up, warrior one. Push deeply into your foundation to find that rising up through the crown of your head through the fingertips. Three breaths here. Option to soften the gaze, close the eyes to challenge balance. Last breath. And on that exhale, straighten the front leg, hands come to the hips, lift the back heel when you're ready, and 
really coming forward. Any softness you need by hula hooping your hips, go ahead. Same thing, other side. Move down through the right foot this time. Bend the left knee, lift the heel. Fix the gaze, steady the breath. When you're ready, we're stepping back with the left leg. And it may feel very different this side, so you get to adjust. Straightening and bending through the right knee will give you a little idea as to what's comfortable for you. No right and wrong, just deciding what works in your body. Next time you come down, even out the weight distribution in your feet, push equally through the back heel as the front heel. From here, rooting to rise, drawing the left shoulder forward, right shoulder back to even things out. Playing with the tilt of your pelvis to find a neutral place. Inhaling, straighten the front leg, but the width distribution is the same. Exhaling, pushing into the back heel to keep that even. Inhaling and exhaling. Always adjusting to accommodate your body. If you're adding on, the inhale, the arms are up as if you're holding a beach ball, as big or as small as you like. Exhale, thumbs towards the sky, hand shoulder height. Inhaling and exhaling, opening up through the left front hip, but equal weight between both feet. Option to stay pulsing. Next time you come down, option to stay. Arms can come up, full warrior one. Dig deep into the earth here to rise up from there, steady breath. Offer yourself softness where you've hardened. Soften the gaze or close the eyes for the last few breaths. Last exhale, we straighten the front leg, hands to the hips, lift the back heel, and we're coming forward. Any hula hooping through the hips to ease things out, please go ahead and do that. And from here, turning towards the front of your mat once again, hands to the hips, steady the breath, steady the gaze, root through the left foot, lift through the right heel. From here, we're stepping back, warrior two stance, maybe a little longer than warrior one. Back toes are turned in, a little bit less than warrior one, but only about 10 or 15 degrees are a comfortable place for you. Now, even out the weight distribution through both feet. Draw the right shoulder back, so we're facing the long end of our, end of our blah, blah, blah. We're facing the long edge of our mat. This is the inhale, exhale, we're dipping in through the left knee. Inhaling and exhaling. Always willing to adjust your foundation so it feels more comfortable in your body. No right and wrong way for it to look. This is about how it feels for you. Make sure that it feels steady, stable, and you can control the movement. And if you need to rest at any time, then rest. Beautiful. Next time we come down with the knee, option to stay. Notice if that knee is caving in. If it is, draw the knee more or less over the ankle for stability. Even distribution of weight. Option to take the arms out, shoulder height. Roll the shoulders back and down, soften them, and then reach through the fingertips. As if from the very center of you, you could send your um, awareness and energy into five points. Your feet evenly, your fingertips and the crown of your head is reaching up. Warrior two. Gazing over those left fingertips. If you want to add on and even things up, on an inhale, straighten the front leg, lift the left arm up, right hand comes down, flowing warrior two. 
exhaling, inhaling, finding that length. But as you do this, really create balance between both feet. Great place to stay here, flowing. If you want to add on from here, we're going to add on side angle. So as we come down, hand to the front leg, back arm comes up. Inhaling, exalted warrior. Exhale, warrior two, or modified side angle. Inhaling, exhaling. If you want to add on and come down a little further, just like we did when we were on our knees, that's the exhale. Forearm down, palm to the sky. Inhaling, option one, exhale. Option two, exhale. Notice what's happening in your feet. Even distribution. So there's really that conscious foundation in the body. Steady breath. From here, you get to choose where you want to take three breaths flowing. Warrior one, uh, warrior two, exalted or side angle. Three breaths here, widening through the collarbones wherever you are. Steady breath, even distribution of weight. Rooting to rise. You've got one more breath wherever you are. And on an inhale, we're going to come all the way up. Hands to the hips, facing forward and stepping forward. Any movements you need in your body to even things up, please go ahead. And we're coming to the other side. So I'm going to turn around so I can see you guys. Hands to the hips, mountain pose of the feet. Even things up there. Steady breath, steady gaze. Root down through the right foot, lift the left heel. When you're ready, we're taking that left leg all the way back. Again, setting up your feet for success. So, those back toes are turned in 10 or 15 degrees ish and we're straightening and bending through that front knee noticing if as you're doing this you can even up that weight distribution balance everything between the two feet between your foundation next time we come down option to stay drawing the shoulder back Option to come out with the arms spread, shoulders roll back and down. We've still got this broadness across the collarbones. Inhaling and exhaling. The left heel is just as rooted as the right. Option to stay here, warrior two, glancing over those front fingertips if you like. Inhaling, straightening the front leg, exalted warrior. Back hand comes to the thigh. Front arm comes overhead, finding that length. That's the inhale, exhale, warrior two. As if you're flowing through water, if you want to add on, you know where we're going. So that right hand comes down to the right thigh, left arm comes up, inhaling, exalted warrior. Exhale, warrior two, or Side angle, modified. Working with your breath, taking breaks when you need to. If you want to add on, the right arm, forearm comes down, palm up, wide collarbones, and the arm is up overhead. So you have a whole lot of bus stops along the way here. Keeping the weight balanced between your feet. So it is a conscious movement. So there's very little momentum here. So at any time, if I said pause, you could stop. Option to stay here at any point or option next three breaths to stay and breathe. 
rooting down through both feet, evenly re reaching from that through the crown of your head, through the fingertips. Steady, smooth breath. Staying for the last breath wherever you are in movement or stillness. And then the next inhale, we're coming up, lifting the back heel, facing forward, hands to your hips, hula hooping through, back in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Hand to belly, hand to heart, settle the breath. If it feels comfortable, soften the gaze, close the eyes and redistribute your weight in your feet. Redistribute your breath in your body, breathing right into the palms of your hands here, steady and slow. Last two breaths here. And when you're ready, blinking the eyes open, lifting the gaze, and I'll meet you down on the floor. Take your time. Here we are down on the floor. I have a soft yoga block here, but you can equally use nothing at all or a rolled towel or a blanket. So we're coming into yet another balance pose. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me. Feet to the floor, knees to the sky, and we're lifting up. And this is where that block's super handy, taking it behind your seat and probably having about two or three centimeters between you and that rolled towel or block. Hands on the front of the shins, those feet can be as wide as feel comfortable. And we're lifting up from there. So you're, if you wiggle from side to side, you'll notice those two bony bits underneath you, the base of the pelvis, those are your sit bones. This is the inhale. On the exhale, with a long spine, we're coming back. And you're gonna feel that support underneath you. Adjust whatever you have behind you, if you do have something, so you find a balance point. And that's gonna make it a whole lot easier for you. And if you don't need that, no big deal. This is the inhale, exhale, coming back. I'm just getting used to that, finding that balance point. Hands come behind the knees now or behind the thighs and next time you come back you're gonna hang out. If you have that support then fantastic. If you don't need it, no big deal. From here, roll the shoulders back and down and we've got these wide collarbones. But we're drawing the pubic bone and the belly button in towards each other so we're not overarching the back. So we've got support down in the transverse abdominals. This is a big place to be. Keeping the breath even is already a challenge here. If you want to add on, lifting one foot up and you've got the support of your hands, flex the foot, root down through the other foot and breathe. Notice if anything shifted in your sit bones and see if you can even that out. Taking that one foot down if it was lifted, lifting the opposite foot. Pelvis is even, breath is still steady. Excellent place to stay. You can switch feet so you have support or next inhale we take the feet up together. Ankles and knees in towards each other can sometimes feel more helpful or keep them wide. There's no right and wrong, your choice. We're breathing steady breaths. Inhaling and exhaling. You've got three more breaths here. Steady and smooth the breath. On the last breath, Gonna take the feet down wherever you are, give yourself a little hug, roll over your legs and rock and roll from side to side. We're gonna take another round of that. So, 
Hands come underneath the thighs. We're right up onto our sit bones. Support or not behind you. This is the inhale. On the exhale, we're coming back and staying. Great place to stay, evening the breath. Notice if you're shifting more to one side than the other and even that up. Breathe into your whole body. Option to lift one foot. Option to go between the two feet, alternating, or both feet come up. Ankles in towards each other and knees, or wide, your choice. Steady breath. Balance the breath as you're balancing here. Option to stay, option to release one hand. Take that back, release the other hand. You can alternate or both hands come out and we stay. Steady breath, three breaths here. Smooth and even the breath, inhaling and exhaling. Staying for the last breath, on the exhale, hands come back to support, legs come down, give yourself a hug, rock and roll from some side to side. And from there, we're coming all the way down onto our back. So it knees to the sky, feet to the floor. Steady out the breath here. Inhaling and exhaling. From here, we're gonna draw that right knee in towards us. Give, us, give it a little hug with your outer thighs underneath the knee or in front of the shin, depending on the length of your bones. Stay here or arms down by the hips or in a cactus. This is the exhale on an inhale, we're sending the leg up, exhaling down. Now notice as you're doing this, what's happening through the support underneath your body, especially through the pelvis, keeping the pelvis rooted. Option to stay here, option to send that leg out at a 45 degree angle to meet that left thigh. Inhaling and exhaling. Notice what's happening in your core and what's happening in the pelvis. Option to stay there, option to send that right leg out, long hovering from the floor. Breath is even, two more. And the next time that knee comes in, give it another little hug. Sending the foot up towards the sky, that leg does not have to be straight in any way. We're gonna circle through that ankle and back in the opposite direction. From here, pushing through the heel so the toes come back towards you, taking the hands around that thigh back of the thigh interlaced. And again, that knee can be bent as much or as little as you like. Steady the breath. Option to stay here. Option to walk the hand up towards the knee or the shin or even the foot. Steady breath. When you're ready, walking the hand back down towards the thigh, easing off that right leg, and we'll bend the knee and it'll come down to the floor. Simply notice here if anything feels different from the right hip to the left hip. Next breath out, we're taking the left knee in, give it a little hug. Even out the breath here, notice all the support underneath you. Release the arms. This is the exhale. On the inhale, we're sending the left leg out towards the sky. Any amount, that leg does not have to be straight. Exhaling, bending the knee. 
Mm -hmm. Working with your breath, steady and smooth. Option to stay here, option to send that leg out at a more 45 degree angle, meeting with that same trajectory as the right leg. Inhaling and exhaling. And notice what's happening in the hips here. And if the hips are starting to twist to accommodate for the length of the leg, then do less. Keep that, the hips and weight distribution even. Or you can send that left leg along the earth, hovering the heel. And again, keeping the core engaged in the body and noticing any imbalances in the foundation underneath us. Using the sole of that right foot to help support you. Next time that knee comes in, it'll stay. And then circle through the ankle. One direction. And then the other direction. When you're ready, sending that leg up towards the sky. Leg does not have to be straight or you can push through that heel to get more into the back of the left leg. Hands come to the thigh, to the back of the thigh, or you can walk those hands up towards your knee, towards your shin or further up. Steady breath here. Evening everything out. Another couple of breaths. And even with this challenge here, finding that balance and the foundation underneath you. When you're ready, the hands walk back towards the top of the thigh, draw that left knee in, and the foot's coming down to the floor. From here, Coming into a soft twist, hips shifting towards the left, arms in a cactus or a T, whatever's comfortable, knees draw in and over to the right. And you can take any support underneath those knees, in between the knees and ankles, whatever supports your body. Gaze towards the sky. And if that left shoulder is lifting, this is where you keep your gaze. If that left shoulder is grounded, the gaze can come over towards the left side as the neck and head are protected. Even breath. And if you need to adjust anything in this twist to accommodate for you, please do. One more exhale, or of course you can stay for longer. Gaze comes up to center, and the knees come up to Shift the hips to a central place. When you're ready, shift the hips to the right. Knees draw in, keeping that right shoulder grounded. We're taking the knees to the left. Adjust the knees to be any height, that top knee can slide back to accommodate for the twist in your spine. You can use any support that you need. And if that right shoulder is grounded, option to take the head and the gaze over towards the right. Even breath. Another few breaths here, letting go of any tension. Gaze comes up to center when you're ready. And the knees come up to center too. Feet to the floor, shift the hips back to center. Any last movements you need, like drawing your knees in or happy baby, rocking and rolling from side to side, go ahead. And when you're ready, 
finding your relaxation with any support underneath you that feels great for you. No right or wrong way to do that. And as you get settled, I'm coming up to a seat to guide you. So as you get sorted, really giving yourself the opportunity to find as much comfort as you possibly can. Take a big breath in when you are ready and settled. Exhale it out as if you could let go of all of your concerns and take another few breaths just like that. Every exhale, let go just a little more into the support underneath you. Mm -hmm. And then we let go of the breath entirely. Allow your body to sink evenly into the support underneath you. So notice if you naturally put more pressure to one side than the other. Make any adjustments you need to for that to feel more comfortable. Take your awareness to the right side of your head. Simply notice the right side of your head. Awareness to the left side of your head, like you're sliding liquid into the left side of your head. Awareness into your whole head together. Soften and relax your entire head. Awareness to the right side of your neck and shoulder. Awareness to the left side of your neck and shoulder. Awareness to your neck and shoulders together. Softening and relaxing your neck and shoulders. Awareness to your right arm, all the way down to your fingers. Awareness to your left arm, all the way down to your fingers. Awareness to both arms together, softening and releasing any tension in both arms. Awareness to the right side of your torso. Awareness to the left side of your torso. Awareness to both sides of your torso together. Softening and releasing tension from your whole torso. Awareness to the right side of your pelvis and hips. Awareness to the left side of your pelvis and hips. Awareness to both hips and your entire pelvis, releasing any tension that's present.
awareness to your right leg. Awareness to your left leg. Awareness to both legs together, releasing and relaxing tension in both legs. Awareness to the entire right side of your body. Awareness to the entire left side of your body. Awareness to the whole body at once. Relaxing and releasing any tension that's still present in your whole body. You can stay here for as long as you like. Enjoying that soft stillness. And if you want to stay, just tune out my voice. Otherwise, simply notice your breath here. And more consciously breathing into both sides of your lungs at once. Noticing if you tend to favor one lung over another. Do your best to balance the breath, even if it's challenging. The breath doesn't have to be big or deep. Start to breathe into your whole body here, crown of your head to the tip of your toes and fingers. And with that more conscious breath, start to make gentle, soft movements to awaken your body. Make it slow and lazy and easy. Maybe staying where you are, gathering your hands into a gesture of closing or making your way to a seat. Wherever you are, take a breath in. Exhale it out, soften your gaze, close your eyes if you're comfortable and just notice the surface underneath you. Notice your weight distribution. Take a breath in. Exhale it out. Draw your chin softly down towards your chest. And thank your inner awareness, your inner teacher, for bringing these awarenesses to you that you can take with you into your day ahead, your week. I thank each of you for practicing with me. Namaste.